Hi there, welcome to Daily Monster 69. Thank you so much for all the kind comments on yesterday's monster. I really appreciate it. The theory has been advanced by one of you in the past that when I draw monsters with bigger shoes or bigger feet, it means I'm happier than when I have monsters with small feet. I'm not sure if I believe it, but maybe it is uh, an accurate window into my subconscious. If so, I must be doing better today. Today is one of those ink blots that could have been so many things. I saw a really nice character in the negative space between the two big ink wishbone segments, maybe? The, f the forks of the ink road. There could have been a nice face in there and it could have been sideburns on the ink. There were some nice birds in there. There were all kinds of possibilities. And that's sometimes hard because you, you have to just pick one and make your move. And in this case, I couldn't quite resist a big fuzzy legged kind of leaping monster. I have, well, it's obviously a lie to say I have no regrets. I have plenty of regrets. I have regrets about this very drawing because I could have done all these other things. But at some point you just gotta, as I said, you have to make your move. And I made it, and I think it's a, an okay move. I like this little, this little guy, little fella, or this little girl, hard to, hard to say. Furry chaps can hide a great many things. So what is the story? What makes this monster so happy? What makes it so leapy and boundy? Is it extreme perspective, by the way, or is one foot in reality significantly larger than the other. Tell me a story. Thank you so much for being here. See you again tomorrow.